Customers are still stuck waiting on their ticket refunds after the Dell's Palace Theater unexpectedly closed back in Dece December. Today, NBC15 learned the building went into foreclosure and a new company purchased the property this week. NBC15's Marcus Arsvold met with the new owners today to learn what's next for the theater and concerned customers. Legacy Entertainment Group is the new company. They're planning to reopen for dinner and a show starting May 23rd, but rebuilding that trust could be tough after some Palace Theater customers are still out hundreds of dollars from buying tickets to shows that never happened. But I hope people will give us a chance. We will need a chance uh, to prove to everybody that we can be successful and different, and we look forward to that. Palace Theater's new owner, David Fee, plans to prove his company, Legacy Entertainment Group, will run the dinner theater efficiently. He says the proof is in his history. His family owned dinner theaters in Tennessee before Dolly Parton purchased the venues. We were a huge business in Tennessee. Fee wants to build a new entertainment empire in Wisconsin Dells. He bought hotel property and nearby businesses to expand by 2024. It's a full Circle moment. Fee was inspired by the Tommy Bartlett show to get into the live show industry. This area needs entertainment. Now that uh, the Tommy Bartlett show doesn't exist, they need an attraction the kind that we hope to be able to provide. His daughter Megan plans to take over the family's business in Legacy one day. For now, she's helping prepare for a fresh reopening with a fresh coat of paint. I care about this theater. It's going to be my home, um, and I want to take care of it the best that we can. So if it means I need to paint, then I'm going to paint. We love theater. Theater is what we do. Theater is how we've made our lives for the last 30 years. The former owner of Palace Theater has still not returned my phone calls or emails to tell us when customers will get refunded. They did say in an email they were working to process those. Today, even more people tell me they're waiting on refunds too and are frustrated. They're hoping for a quick resolution. Live in the studio, Marcus Arzold, NBC 15 News.